Hello, I'm Rinya, aka Media Adaptation, and welcome back to Moderation's 31 Days of Halloween. We do a video each day based on your suggestions. Yeah, I know our videos have been kind of out of whack, and we'll basically reshuffle all the ordered stuff, get the uh, easier ones to do done first. But anyway, today we're talking about another creation of Trevor Henderson. If that name doesn't ring a bell, then maybe you've heard of some of his other works, like Cartoon Cat or Siren Head. Both are topics that we covered before, and are both on our backlog of stuff that really needs to be re-uploaded. And joining us today again is Midnight Sapphire, who will be debating some of the story's details after our lore. And speaking of which, let's get right down to it. Today's story is about Yo-Yo, also known as the Cartoon Girl. She looks like a normal human being wearing a bear mask. Her height is about 5 feet, and has normal proportions. She wears a long white dress and socks to cover her legs. Many images, her hands are not visible, but they are simply beneath her dress, which itself is adorned with a yellow flower pattern. Yo-Yo was once human, before she was turned into a monster. As a human, she was avoided by her friends. Other people simply thought that she was boring. Yo-Yo felt very sad that this was happening to her, and after a while, fell into despair and stopped playing with those around her. She slowly stopped going outside. Her parents were always busy at work, so they didn't realize that Yo-Yo was having to deal with these issues. Yo-Yo spent all of her time alone in her room, and started drawing to fill the boredom. She drew everything around her. As the days passed, she started to lose her mind, and was unable to deal with her emotions, and started to become violent and lash out. She had so much anger and pain inside her, she wanted to scream at the top of her lungs. She hated the world and her life. And one day, through the window, she saw all the kids playing around. She couldn't control herself. She couldn't stand the sight of anyone else having a happy life. She wanted to harm them. So she pulled out a drawing of her own. One of that of a bear. A yellow bear. She used it as a mask and stormed out of her room. She went downstairs and yelled at the kids like a bear. She wanted to scare them. At first, they didn't pay her much mind. But within no time, Yo-Yo picked up a knife and ran towards the kids. They screamed and ran away. But Yo-Yo didn't leave it there. She followed each of them and killed them. Yes, she murdered all of them. Every single one was brutally murdered. After this, Yo-Yo was no longer human. Her bare face became permanent, and she always kept her hands inside her dress. After this, Yo-Yo was given the nickname Cartoon Girl. She ran away from home, and is said to live in abandoned woods and houses. She roams places wherever kids normally gather. She watches them play, and then gets angry all over again. And out of nowhere, the kids are attacked and killed. She hates them with all her heart. She doesn't want anyone else to have the happiness that she was denied. So what are your thoughts on this character? Hmm, very interesting. For one thing, I know that well, she is like a bear demon, right? Like she's a demon that has a like bear mask on, right? Mm -hmm. Well, a human turned into a demon. They don't I really like go into detail. Card, right? huh. Yeah. Card, right? yeah. A, human, a human that gave up their mortality to become a monster. Mm -hmm. to that. But what is interesting is that she hates children. Mm -hmm. Well, she because feels that her childhood was robbed, so no one else robbed. should have the right to be happy. Mm -hmm. There's another interesting part of the story is that the reason that she always keeps her hands in her dress is because even though that she's now a demon, there is still a little part of her that's 
uh, still in there, the little bit of humanity, and she can't bear to see her own hands covered in blood. Or at least want that of her friends. So wait, is this the only demon so far? Like, are they our type of... what, what are they called? Oh. Um, y y yokai? Yeah. Well, those are Japanese ones. These are a set made by uh, Trevor Henderson. Same guy who did Cartoon Cat and uh, Siren Head. So I, I heard of Siren Head. Mm hmm. Man, that guy w would be a little headache. Yeah. Are, are, are they out for demons? Like, from. Well, these are modern ones, similar to Slenderman. There are no real. Um, uh, mythological things to them. They all started off uh, as a set of creepy images created and then the stories evolved around them. She gains three, uh, three feet and turns into that thing. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, <laughs> sleeps in holy water. Yeah. And one of the oddities about her is that she doesn't seem to have a, well, consistent form of killing. I mean, who does nowadays? It, it really feels like this second form is tacked on. Because it says that she can do that, but it also says that she lives in abandoned forests and buildings. And if a group of kids are together, then she'll go in kind of stealth. Uh, she will encourage them to do uh, dangerous stuff or stuff like that, or give out poisonous candies or dangerous animals like uh, venomous spiders. So kind of like some, some people on TikTok, right? Yeah. Predatorium children. Never fun. Uh, Never. If they find a kid alone, then she'll attack them physically. Or oh, random oh, adults. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, sir, yeah. She can tear them apart with her jaws or claws, but it says, specifically says that she doesn't kill them to eat. It is actually unclear how she sustains her power. Because, because, I mean, when was the last time you saw a demon eat a fruit salad? Mm-hmm. Well, that's true. So it's, it's, more, it's more like a mm -hmm. soul thing. Mm -hmm. which, which, which take the soul food quite literally. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know some others go on that Freddy Krueger principle of, or the Tulpa. Uh, the more people who know about it, the more that kind of feeds on it's people's power. fear. Yeah. Oh, but there's like, nothing there, or nothing in this story like, about it. Like it. Yeah, if any was. But that about does it for this video. If you have any topics for future projects, then feel free to post them down in the comments below. And while you're down there, why not like, and make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Still slowly recovering from the deletion. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Anyway, I'm Runya, invite you to join us again for the next night. Weep not for children, for life is this way, murdering beauty and passion.